Hello and welcome to another video. Let's start with some fundamental questions that we need to be able to answer. As you can see, this expression is going to give you infinity as x goes to infinity. This is going to approach infinity and this term also will approach infinity. Um, some will argue that this is a larger infinity than this infinity. <laughs> well, let's assume that's correct. By how much is it larger? such that when you subtract you can get an answer well you can't get an exact answer even though you can't even tell if your result is going to be infinity or it's going to be 5 or 20 or 275 or a million so because there are many options so many possible options we never subtract infinity from infinity and that's why we call it the indeterminate form <music> subtract can you add infinity to infinity let's look at it infinity a very large number added to a very large number well your answer is definitely going to be a very large number so yes we can add infinity to infinity so if the sign was plus your answer will be infinity okay now we've taken care of subtraction and addition what about multiplication can you multiply infinity by infinity? The answer is yes, because when you multiply a very large number by another very large number, your answer is gonna be another very, very large number. So, and that's infinity also. Can you divide infinity by infinity? Well, we're going to arrive at the same problem we had in the case of subtraction. Yeah, even if you can tell that one is bigger than the other, what will be the quotient, what will be the answer? Will it be infinity too, or will it be so close that you can't get infinity, you have to get a finite number? What would that number be? Well, we don't know. That's indeterminate. And therefore, we cannot divide infinity by infinity. However, we can do the following. So, I'm just going to write a summary of all the things we can do with two infinities. We can add infinity to infinity and get infinity. We can multiply infinity by infinity and get infinity. We cannot subtract infinity from infinity. Um, it's indeterminate. We cannot divide infinity by infinity. That is also indeterminate. But if either of these is not infinity, then you're, you're good to go. Okay, so if we switch one of these with an, a finite number, like let's just say three, let's just take three, and you, you change all of these values, see what's gonna happen. You have three plus infinity is gonna be just infinity. It's like adding three to a very large number, your answer is still gonna be a very large number. And if you have uh, three multiplied by infinity, your answer is still gonna be infinity. If you do this three uh, minus infinity, well, you're taking a very large number away from 3. Your answer is going to be a negative very large number. Um, let's go to this. 3 divided by infinity is dividing 3 into infinite number of parts, which is, that's just, you know what you're going to get? Something so small that you should just assume it's 0. What if we flip this? What about infinity divided by 3? Well, you're dividing something that's extremely large by a finite number, your answer is still gonna be infinity. Is there any other thing we haven't done? No. What if you take something away? So you say infinity minus three. While well, you're taking a very small number away from infinity, your answer is gonna be infinity. See, all of these are things you should just register and then solving limits like this will be very easy. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Like we said at the beginning, this, will give you infinity, infinity. So you can do multiplication. Let's try and create a multiplication situation here, okay? It makes things easy for us. So we can have, um, this implies the limit 
as x goes to infinity of, we can factor the greatest fa uh, uh, common factor here, which is x cubed, and we're left with 5 minus x. Okay, um, if you apply limit laws, it tells you that the limit as x goes to infinity of the first term, this multiplication law, okay, you just multiply by the limit as um, x goes to infinity also of 5 minus x. The good thing is that as x goes to infinity, this number goes to infinity. Okay, this expression goes to infinity, multiplied by, as x goes to infinity, you'll be subtracting a very large number from 5. Your answer will be a negative very large number, so it will be negative infinity. Remember, we can multiply, and negative times positive is going to give you a negative. Infinity times infinity is infinity, and that's the solution to this one. Let's see what's going to happen in this case. The same process. Okay, but the only difference between this and this is this goes to negative infinity. Let's see the effect it's going to have. So this is going to be the limit as x goes to negative infinity. And we're going to factor also, that's going to be x cubed into 5 minus x. And that will be, if you apply the limit laws multiplication, that will be the limit as x goes to negative infinity of x cubed times um, the limit as x goes to negative infinity of 5 minus x. Okay, so as this goes to negative infinity, this will become negative. Remember, if you cube a negative number, it's going to retain the negative, okay? So this is negative infinity multiplied by a negative infinity here will change this to positive, okay? So that will be 5 minus negative infinity, that's 5 plus infinity, okay? So 5 plus infinity, remember if you add 5 to a very large number, it's still a very large number, so it's positive. Okay, so your answer eventually will be negative infinity. So guess what? Both of these will approach negative infinity as x goes to infinity, okay, or to negative infinity. And if you pay attention well, this is a polynomial. If you know how to plot the graphs of polynomial, see this is the highest power. The coefficient is negative. It's going to be like a badly written M. So it's going to be like this. I don't know where the position will be, but when you plot it, it's going to be like this. So you see that as you go toward this direction or this direction, you'll end up with lines going toward negative infinity, negative infinity. That's how this graph is going to be. And that's what you got. You learned something in this video make sure you give it a like a share a comment hit the notification bells bell christmas is not too far away let's talk about bell see you in the next video and until then don't stop learning because those who stop learning have stopped living bye, -bye.